Welcome to the second unit of our reading mock. In this video, we are going to learn more reading strategies which help you to read the text and do the tasks successfully. Sometimes when you read, you don't have to read everything. You just need to be able to read the text very quickly. Reading quickly requires to be selective. This means that you do not need to read the text word by word, but to look only for what is relevant to your purpose. Quick selective reading is done in a short time compared to slow, careful reading, which is done for other purposes, such as attaining a deep comprehension. In this video, you're going to be provided with two strategies of quick selective reading, which are scheming and scanning. You're going to learn what these two strategies are and how to use them while reading text in hand. However, you need to remember that you have to look at the pre-reading tasks provided. They will pave the way for you to read the text easily and more efficiently. To start with, the first strategy is scheming. So, scheming is a quick reading strategy done for getting general ideas. It helps to you to determine the general ideas of the text you are reading without having to read everything in the text. And it is four, three to four times faster than normal reading. And this strategy is used to help you choose which chapter to read in a book or which article to read uh, a website, etc. Now we're going to learn how to skim a text. So, if you want to get a general view about the content of the reading material or text in a short time without the need to read every word, you may follow these steps. So, first, read the title if there is one as shown in the picture. If there are subtitles, also read them to get a general idea of the topic discussed. Then read in the introduction or the introductory paragraph and read the first sentences of each paragraph as shown here in the picture. So the first sentence of each paragraph provides the whole idea discussed in the paragraph. So after the first sentence, the titles and the subtitles and first sentence, search quickly for keywords. So look quickly to the rest of the paragraph to detect any special words. They could be written in bold or in italics. The numbers or numerals such as first, second and third, these are usually important key terms. Besides, you may read uh, the concluding sentence or which is the last sentence of each paragraph because it summarizes the main points and the views that appeared in the paragraph. If you're not dealing only with the short text but with a long passage, read the last paragraph completely. It summarizes uh, the uh, whole uh, idea of the passage. If you follow these steps, you will certainly have an overall understanding and you may an uh, answer questions like what is the text about, what is the main idea of the text, and you can give a suitable title for the text. The second strategy is named as scanning, and it is a quick selective reading done in a short time and doesn't involve reading every word in the text. So to scan is to read, to find or locate specific information in the reading material or in the text. So to scan, concentrate on finding the answer. Just move your eyes quickly down the page looking for the specific information. Steps that help you scan a text involve first state in the mind the specific information you're looking for. What type of information you're looking for? Is it a date? Is it a name? Is it a place? Try to form this information as a question. Determine the organization of the text you're reading. Locate the meaning, locate the title. Where is the title? Where is the introduction, the conclusion, 
etc then use titles and headings and any other ads that will help you decide in which section you're going to find the information you're looking for read selectively and skip throughout the sections of the text keeping the specific information in your mind meaning you're not going to read the text word by word but just you're going to skip sections until you reach the information you're looking for move your eyes down the page in a systematic way and when you find the specific information read the whole sentence or sentences in which it appears to confirm that you have located the correct information to this point we are, we come to explaining these two strategies use them while reading the text and while dealing with the tasks good luck